So here we have Barton's pendulums, which is a really good demonstration of two things. It's a good demonstration of resonance, and you'll see that in a second, where one oscillation can cause other oscillations in things that are linked to them. And it's a good demonstration to show that the only factor that affects the time period or the frequency of a pendulum here on Earth is its length. Um, the equation for a pendulum is T is 2 pi root L over G. So L is length and G is gravitational acceleration. T is the time period, and time period is inverse the frequency, so high time period, low frequency. Um, it's resonance because, well, this pendulum has a higher mass, so when it swings, it has more energy. And it has more energy than these, so it drives them. These are, this oscillator drives these oscillators, and it drives them all a little bit, but it drives these ones the most. And the reason for that is they're the same length, so they have the same fundamental frequency, the same harmonic frequency as the driver pendulum. And you can see that now, pretty much all the other pendulums have stopped moving, but the two that are roughly the same length as the driver pendulum are still going. And actually the one that goes the most is the closest to the length. Yeah, so, I mean, this is called Barton's pendulum. So this one is the driver who's got the greatest mass. Yeah. And eventually you'll see... But you just have to do like the sneak thing and then goes like out of sync. Yeah, in phase and out of phase. And, and it, um, now you see that this one is only driving the ones that it's resonant with. See that? So this is because, camera, for a pendulum, time period depends on 2 pi times the root of the length of the pendulum over gravitational acceleration. It does not depend on the mass or anything else, just the length and gravitational field strength. So here on Earth, obviously, it's the same for all of these pendulums. So you can see it is only uh, really driving the one that has the same resonant frequency of. It's driving this one a little bit, this one a little bit, but the closest one is this one, and that's the one that's driving. It works right at the start, and then it's just going to come out. There are far better ones than this on YouTube, I'm afraid. Thanks for watching this video from Gorilla Physics. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, why not go ahead and subscribe? I hope you found it useful, so please tell your friends, and every like and share that we get helps us be more useful to more people. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Myra, my lovely assistant who made our Barton's Pendulums last year, and also to Joe, our lovely assistant who made the vibration, uh, the earthquake simulator. <laughs>